All right, guys, Red Warrior back here. I have not put this one up on my channel yet. Uh, it's fairly similar to, obviously, the extravaganza. Uh, same, similar thing, but you are not going for carp. You're going for only sturgeon. Uh, the rewards, again, 12-foot crankbait, uh, clothes feeder. A lot of the similar stuff that you'll pick up. Again, anybody looking for that X-Series walker or that have lost theirs, another way to get this. Now, these guys, a lot of these guys have this figured out, but it's usually a, a fun one to play in. <clears throat> again you're just hunting for the white sturgeon as many as you can get at night and uh, i want to say it's 45 minutes yes it is 45 minutes so i wanted to post this up on my channel i am entering it a little late and uh, we're going to see uh, see how we do bam's got a heck of a score going already so again no guarantees in this sort of thing but i'm going to go in and just kind of give you the basic idea but it is very similar to the uh, extravaganza so here we go I think I'm actually going to spawn on the island. And I'm not using uh, duck, duck muscle meat this time. I'll actually probably try uh, spawn sack, maybe uh, cut bait, that sort of thing. Just kind of see what my bite rate's looking like. I might... Uh, try a few different baits again since i'm not going for carp uh i wouldn't use <clears throat> duck muscle meat still good but i'm gonna use something different I'm trying to hook up the hook size just a little bit, maybe thinking that uh, we could get a bigger uh, sturgeon, but who knows? Let's see if I can max that. Yeah, I can max it. And a 50 pounder off the start's not bad. I will take that. And welcome to the stream, anybody tuning in. I haven't put this one up on my channel, so I figured I'd give it a try. We did have decent luck on our first one. It was a nice 50-pounder, but we'll see how this plays out. Try some spawn sack and upgrade hooks just a little bit. I guess 
guess I could show you guys some marks. I'm pretty sure you probably have these. This one does seem to be a little slower than the extravaganza. We also see if uh, maybe alternating baits. If I'm liking six O's. I'm actually gonna see if this changes anything. This one's got to be a lot slower. Okay, the whole island kind of seems slow. With that being said, I'm going to spawn over to the uh, boat and hit the, uh, the beached area. I think I'll actually go back to cut bait. Try the long cast first, work my way back.
This is definitely a lot slower. Let's drag it back and see if I can get a ding. Try the middle location. Holy snikes, these things. Started out with a, a nice one right off the bat and not a bite sense. Finally getting, I gotta get a fish it looks like here. There we go. Timer back on. And hopefully it's 40 pounds or better. Nice 53 pounder. Definitely take that one. I seem to be preferring cut bait for whatever reason. Short cast. Ideally, I'd say this depends on the count, but I want to say you should be able to get anywhere from two to four over in this area with three marks. Again, no guarantees in these things, guys. Uh, I can tell you from playing in extravaganza and now playing in this, the bite rate's a little slower, but uh, I think you still kind of want to upgrade your hooks a little bit from a 4.0, maybe to try to get... A, I've caught two of them, but both of them are in the 50s, so maybe if you have a little longer of a weight, maybe just a little bit of a hook, bigger hook size, Better quality sturgeon, maybe. I'll double check. Maybe there's two sitting right here.
Very odd. I'll pull it right up to here and see. If... It's odd there's only one out there in the middle spot. There we go. I think this one's as big, but maybe. Nope. Still in the 40s, we will take it. Now, see if I can get one out of here. Again, since huge cut bait seems to be working, that's probably what I'll stay with for a while until it's not. I don't mean spawn sacks not better for you guys so I can just try a couple different ones if you're not getting bites don't hesitate to switch off a spawn sack crawdads uh, freshwater prawn works large cut bait whatever your pick is guys welcome to the stream and you guys tuned in Putting this one up on my channel, then I'm going to stop the stream briefly to save this on the channel. And then I'm going to do a comp grind. I'm going to do the uh, couple comps in a row. This one's not as big. But it is 30 pounds, so uh, if I come back to the middle. Let me try it. So I've got three over here. <clears throat> Maybe press your luck. I'll see if you can get a fourth. I'll, I'll go back to that island here in a second. three over here so far so I was kind of wanting to see if I could get one more Lightly drag this in. If I don't get a hit on it, then I'm going to spawn back over the island. Don't hesitate to move around on these things, guys. Let's see if this spot's active. Yes, it is. They're giving us the smalls. Oh, good, Matt. Hey, I appreciate you tuning in. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, like I said, I'm not very organized just yet, Matt, but uh, I'm pretty much a power farmer, power leveler. Uh, feel free to look through the videos. The actual videos is where the tips, power rotations, that sort of thing, as well as all, if you're missing marks. And you need good farming marks. If you actually look at live, uh, kind of like what I'm doing on this one, I, I generally speaking, I'll share a lot of my marks on the lakes that you could also double as, even though if you're not planning on participating in that particular comp, 
Uh, if you look there, you'll see an overall strategy, and you can kind of just piggyback off that because a lot of my, uh, again, I'm just converted into comps since February. So, in other words, you could use those as a farming template, so to speak, for each lake as you level up uh, throughout the game. And as well, if you need marks shared to you, uh, that sort of thing, feel, I don't know if you, what platform you play on, Matt, but feel free to uh, send me a friend request and I can send you uh, marks via the game. I am on PlayStation. But I know when I started entering these comps, it was very difficult, even though I was good at the game. Trying to find the uh, the nuances in between. What up, Soviet, my band? Yeah, how you doing, Soviet? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Doing a little bit of sturgeon here. I haven't posted this one up on my channel yet, so I wanted to... It's very similar to the uh, the San Juan uh, extravaganza. You're on Xbox. Now. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Hey, yeah, I appreciate that, man. Strong lure, so you can... Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's cross-platform as of yet, but somebody was saying there's a rumor they're changing it to that. Uh, and I don't know if it was that we could play together or that was just uh, the comp and the scoreboards or that sort of thing. So uh, that, that I couldn't answer. But yeah, feel free to look around on any of these little templates I put up for the comps. Uh, all of them, I'll share marks and stuff. It's a bastard bedtime you're going to go. All right, Sylvia, my bad, bro. It's early here for me, but thank you for tuning in, man. Enjoy you some good sleep and get rested up. But again, kind of the same thing here. If you ever wanted to farm, you know, you can, you guys that, uh, anybody that did the extravaganza, these, these are all my, uh, well, that's my copy mark. That's another copy mark. Uh, Sturgeon and Carper here. Later, Soviet. But you can farm all these marks. But yeah, Matt, it's a pretty good idea to get leveled up what you can. Who knows that? Uh, you know, that deep sea thing's coming out, so definitely stock up on some money. I'm assuming you got that little pass or whatever uh, to get yourself into the Congo. So definitely, when you got time to grind, grind that out. I'm curious to see what uh, Fish and Planet's going to make the uh, the next level to get into the, the new map. In other words, it could go from level 80 to 90 or level 80 to 85 or level 80 to 100. Who knows? I'm curious myself to see how much I'm going to have to grind. Also, any of you guys kind of following along in this thing here, I would suggest that... Uh, after you caught a few there, you can spawn over this point and just see if these two spots are active. For whatever reason, I seem to have a little better luck getting them to bite if I'm over here casting towards the island as opposed to standing on the island. Don't mean I'm going to get a bite, but uh, for whatever reason, it seems to work a little better. Again, I'm a person that's guilty of over-rotating, but uh, I get bored fairly quick, so I'm either dragging my bait along the bottom just to see if a spot's active, or I'm rotating constantly. So maybe the better option is... Uh, Waiting things out a little longer than I do. And it's also possible a spawn sack on a 5 0 might be better, but I've got uh, two or three 50 pounders with the 5 0 huge cut bait. What up, Dutch? My man. How's your afternoon going? It's morning for me, man. I'm off early it's Wednesday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Unless it rains, then I'll get a little more time off. But uh, yeah, I work seven days a week. Anywhere from as uh, little as 35 hours, as many as 60. So it just depends. So, But yeah, it's bright and early here for me. 
but I've already been to work for a couple hours and ready to do some fishing planet grind, putting up whatever content I can that'll help you guys. And enjoying myself along the way. And as I can see, this is not working. I am not getting a bite. Uh, we'll try this other mark. Dutch, well, I got you here. What do you think uh, Fishing Planet's going to change the max level to? 80 to 90, 80 to 85, 80 to 95, 80 to 100? I'm curious. So curious because you can level up so quickly at the Congo. I wonder what they're going to, are they going to set that bar high? Trying to get a few more people to buy the DLC. I'm kind of hard-headed, so I, I ended up supporting the game, but I kind of like to test myself and see how fast I can power level, uh, and then I'll buy the pack anyway to just support the game. So I'm curious. Now, if it's 80 to 100, I don't know. I might grind myself 80 to 80 to 90 and go from there. Maybe 90 or 100, yeah. I doubt they'll be gentle and put it at 85, but we'll see. And I'm also curious to see the insane amount of uh, XP and cash you'll be able to grind in the ocean. Oh, what's up? Antoine's in the house. My man. 90 to 95. Yeah, probably. It's got. I'd be surprised if it's under 90, y'all. And that's going to be one hell of a grind, boys. Boy, I hate to go all the way back over here. I'm going to do something completely stupid, guys. I'm going to cast from over here just to test this, and I might go back to Allen. Just because I caught these so quick, you can actually long cast this if you were wanted to. Since you have the big, if you have this big rod like here, like I have the top bottom rod in the game, uh, that's not that much of a chore to pull them in. Now, if you're a lower level guy, uh, rocking a heavy chaser or a bottom sniper, I do not suggest you try it this from here. That will be too long of a fight. Yeah, you hope 10 more levels. I, I don't mind the grind, especially if we, as long as they don't nerf Congo. I hope that they don't uh, lightly nerf, <laughs> let's say they nerf the tiger fish or the uh, perch per se, just to kind of making it harder for the guys so that they that they buy the packs again. But I, I hope they don't do something like that. But yeah, uh, level uh, 80 to 90, I think, would be a nice medium. It gives guys something to push for. And again, you know, not everybody might have that spare change to, to buy the DLC, so they're they're going to have to grind the old-fashioned way. So let's hope they're not too... Hopefully they don't give us the double whammy and say, hey, level 95, and we're going to nerf the uh, bite rate on the uh, uni perch and the tiger fish by 25%. Hold on a second, fellas. Um, I'll ask you. I'll, I'll, I'll see you on the stream if you're streaming, and I'll, uh, I'll ask some questions on that. All right, drive safe, John. All right, mate. I'll see you shortly. All right, bud. Bye, mate. Oh, bye. Sorry, Phyllis. My buddy John Valley. He's wanting to practice for the Q2 later, so he's on the way home. My buddy from England. Boy, this is going slow on me quick. But yeah, the Congo's amazing. Let's hope they let's hope they don't nerf that.
Okay, boys, I think I might have to change baits here. Time to try to make some moves. Uh, this might be silly, but I'm going to try it anyway. And again, anybody watches this back and you haven't played in this one, you can see, uh, you know, a lot of these guys got these things figured out. So uh, getting the top three would be probably fairly difficult unless uh, you practice this quite a bit, knowing the, the count per, that sort of thing. And again, you, you kind of need a really, really consistent bite rate. And I, yeah, yeah, I will here in a second, man. A lot of people love the spawn sack. I actually started with that uh, Antoine for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, technically speaking, right? You factor in your uh, your level 80 plus all your ranks. I get it. I've thought that before too. Like, can't you just hand it to me for all the grinding I've already did? I will go ahead and try the spawn sacks. I think part of my problem is I've already caught so many of these that, uh, again, what I don't know about these things, again, just learning myself is, you know, how, is there two here, one there? Those guys got that figured out. Is there one here at this time, two here, one over here? Those guys, the guys at the top that have that nine, 800 pounds, uh, those guys just know their counts and that sort of thing. So, again, I'm just putting this up as a kind of a play-by-play -play and kind of how things play out for me. I want to say I've caught five off of this island and three off of the beach, somewhere in that range. Spawn Zach brought us one back in. We'll take it. Kind of need this one to be big, but I don't think that it is. Decent. We'll take it. Now I'll go back to the long cast. And when this one ends, I'm going to put up a... Uh, I'm going to go do the long and short as well. That one's about an hour and a half. And then uh, at some point I might spin off and practice with John a little bit for that Q2. He's going to need some marks and a little bit of assistance. I think he's going to try to qualify this evening. Fishing for Trihera at the Amazonian Maze. Just to test something out for you guys, I'm going to let that set here for a second, that 90 to 85 foot range, just to see if maybe there's two in one spot. That's something I have not figured out yet. I haven't played in this one enough to kind of get an accurate count. A lot of these guys that really, really get into these comps, I would assume uh, that they probably have uh, on their marker buoys themselves 2X, uh, 3X, 1X, that sort of thing as far as the count that they normally would get off of one marker. Uh, kind of a keynote there for you guys is 
If you were going to go hardcore into something like this, that's probably what you would do. And then there, again, that would be a good way for you to remember the count per marker, so to speak. But I know I can normally get one over here at some point, but uh, hasn't been too kind to me yet, so we'll see. Give it a second or two, and I'll try the marker to my right as well, and I'll probably have to go back to the beach for a couple minutes at least. But I can normally pick up one off of one of these two markers. But no guarantees. does not appear to be active. And try the other marker I showed you. It's also possible that this whole area is dead and I gotta go back to the beach. I will actually drive over this time. I would assume I should be able to get around two over here, I hope, because they should have respawned by now. If I don't, then uh, you kind of know what to expect. Since it's convenient, I will try the, uh, the short marker first. The spot is active again. Forty-three pounder kind of needed that one to be bigger. Well, just so that was active so quick. Let's see if there's a two for right here. May not be. Again, this is just me and my personal experience going through this. And if uh, you pick up on a trend as I go and stuff that I do wrong, all right, that should help you one way or the other. Again, as you notice, uh, notice, I do kind of pull this along just to see, just to try to speed up the process. You may want to just throw that out and wait, but I have found um, it doesn't really matter for me. In other words, there's either one there or there's not. If you're, as long as you're lightly pulling that along, as you noticed, a couple of those I've caught doing that very thing. So, again, just trying to find out if there's one there or not is kind of what's important to me. And then from there, again, if you was a tryhard and you want to label your spots out and kind of know where they're at and about what time they're active, uh, that's basically what these guys are doing. But the, the amount of time that it would take uh, for a guy to do that, in other words, a lot of times the top guys kind of get knocked around uh, being accused of cheating or whatever, but uh, they're actually just, you know, they put a lot of hard work and, 
uh, practicing these sort of things. Again, any of you guys tune in, I will be doing, I'm going to end this one here in about six minutes, uh, and then a couple minutes after that, I'm going to put up the, uh, just a comp grind, that's about an hour and a half of, uh, at the Congo, the long and the short, trying to get the smallest fish possible, or the shortest fish possible, and then the longest fish would be the Nile perch, so, I will be going to the Congo uh, after this ends. Again, that middle spot, for whatever reason, does not seem to be active. So I kind of, since I'm already here, I'll probably just pull this back to the short mark, see if I can trigger a, uh, trigger a bite close, and I'm going to cast to the farthest one. And if I can't get something fairly there, fairly quick there, I'll uh, spawn back to the beach and hopefully I can pick up one more. But I was kind of counting on getting two from over here. They should have respawned. And I kind of hope, sitting there thinking about as I've talked, it would be kind of great if they didn't spawn at the same markers, uh, the same count at the same time, because then those guys can figure out all those patterns. I kind of would wish that, uh, or I hope that it's the case, that it is somewhat randomized. That way they don't always know how many are there. But uh, it's also possible that they do. One of these spots should have been active. Let me try a little. Actually, let me show these marks too. I don't know if I showed these in the beginning. Again, once I had more time to develop this and come back and you know try really hard on it, I would do that very thing and label the markers and the count and that sort of thing. But since I'm just kind of putting this up as a play along to help all you guys out, uh, there's that mark. I actually uh, spawned that, but I did catch the sturgeon off that. I use that for a different comp as well to get uh, the oversized carp and the uh, carp comp here. And then again, these marks back here will produce sturgeon for you as well. It's a nice 55 pounder there off of a spawn sack. So basically, you got two spawn points here, but actually three. One's here, and you can cast towards the island. Uh, this is probably the bigger of the hot spot because there's just so many marks over here. And if it's a little luck, maybe I can get one more. As you can see, just because the spot's active, I pulled that right into there. In other words, I was fishing on dead markers over there. I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm pulling that bait in lightly. It's just to try to figure a response out. Again, now, if you guys were able to get that routine down, you should be able to go from marker to marker, uh, you know, and pick them up. But that was a quick 50, quick 52 pounder. Uh, just since I'm running out of time, I'm going to cast this short one. Cast just past it, and I'm going to pull into it. Uh, just trying to trigger a response quicker, but I think, uh, you know, once you were to get a routine down in this, you know, slightly pull down, speed one, just trying to pull back into this. Again, so once I think I was able to learn or you were able to learn the kind of the markers and the uh, proper rotation to go, uh, that, that's what those guys at the top are doing.
and there's a really strange spot right here. I will mark it real quick or show you real quick. Um, there's sturgeon actually really close right there too. So we're not this crappie, but uh, there's actually sturgeon right here in these two spots as well. I'm going to run out of time to hit them, but uh, don't put your whole comp on them guys, but there's two extra additional marks for you. Believe it or not, they will hit on occasion there as well. All right, again, I hope that helps out somebody somewhere. This uh, does conclude Sturgeon in the Dark here on my channel. Uh, again, uh, you know, going through this, could have did a, probably put up a lot more, ended up with 10. Uh, we did have several 50-pounders, though, 52, 53, uh, 53, and a 50. So we had four 50-pounders. That was with a 5-0 using a huge cut bait as well as Spawn Sack. Feel free to stick with Spawn Sack if you think that's a little better. Uh, and then coming up here, here just in a few minutes, I'm going to get a drink real quick. Make sure this is saved up on the channel so that it's labeled for anybody that might search this in the future that does not know how to do this. Uh, that's definitely intended for you guys. Um, I will be playing in this here. Starts in about seven minutes, so I need to get set up for that as well. So I will be back here shortly in a couple minutes, guys. And thank you for tuning in. This does conclude the uh, Sturgeon in the Dark here on my channel. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you soon.